Just under 25,000 jobs uh, already cut this year so far. Last year was supposed to be the year of efficiency. In your mind, what's going on this year? Uh, there are a few things going on. It's, it's always been a very confusing job market, certainly recently. I think companies are still in the uh, in the cleanup from 23. There's still some failover or some fallover from that in terms of some additional layoffs. Uh, but there's also a changing of the skills that are necessary. You look at Salesforce.com, who had a very public, uh, uh, very public announcement of layoffs earlier in 23. They had an incredible second quarter earnings call. Uh, they were scaling up already in, in Q3. And now they announced again, we're going to do another, uh, I think, 700 layoffs. But at the same time, they're hiring 1,000 people. Uh, so there could be a, a skills, uh, a flipping of skills, different skills necessary uh, to really handle uh, the new world of 2024, Gen AI. Uh, AI needs to be incorporated to various different areas uh, of companies. And you're going to see that sort of being a new trend. So we're okay. laying off people who are less necessary, if you will, or who are, are we overhired still earlier in the uh, earlier in the cycle. And now we're hiring specialized skills. So, Evan, you're really hitting on something I think is the question for a lot of people. Um, you mentioned Salesforce as an example. They're laying off some people, but they're still looking for other employees uh, in their, to, to work in their AI-focused endeavors. So do you see that being a continued trend throughout this year where there's going to be layoffs, but companies allocate that capital and maybe those jobs into other areas, more than likely AI-focused? Yeah, uh, absolutely. The other thing that we're seeing, Frank, is a return to work policy. So you're seeing in some instances these layoffs were people who just didn't want to go back to work. So if a company wants to go back to work, there's still some economic, uh, there's clearly economic uncertainty. We're seeing recruiters getting hired. We're seeing salespeople getting hired. These are all indications that companies are going to be looking to do something, either growing their revenue base that lo that they lost over in 23, or of, of course, looking to hire folks. We're also uh, think we're going to start seeing a shift to contract labor. You know, in terms of economic uncertainty, um, and uh, specialized skills that are necessary and a return to work policy that's in effect, it might be easier to find temporary contract labor to fill those okay. specialized skills needs. Other question for you, should any of this be a surprise? In general, companies, they get rewarded when it comes to their stock price when they lay employees off. Also, we've had stories here on CNBC, CNBC.com for months that says they have been saying that companies have been, have been telling their managers, learn how to do more with less. So do you, think you see this being a trend in tech and beyond just companies deciding that we're going to do more with less. We're going to ask more of the employees that we currently have. Yeah, absolutely. I, I think the, the Wall Street has completely rewarded companies when they lay people off. You announce a layoff and, and the market reacts positively. At the same time, you're seeing Gen AI, and there's talk of Gen AI having this imp impact of like 20 to 30 percent augmented benefit. And if that's true, then instead of hiring four people to do one uh, to do a specific task, I could hire three people. So I could hire less people or do more with less. Exactly right.